Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, this is going to be not so much a Bible study, but an expose. The image on the screen is the Jewish New Testament by author David Stern. David Stern is a Jewish, that's a Jewish name. He's a Jewish author, and he claims to be Messianic. And he did what, what he did was, is he substituted the Greek names in the New Testament and just gave them Jewish sounding names. So let's take a look. Turn your Bibles to Isaiah 14. Well, don't turn your, if you got a King James Bible, you could turn to Isaiah 14, but don't read it. Let me read Isaiah 14 for you from the complete Jewish Bible. Oh, I love this Jewish Bible. It's so wonderful. People tell me not that crazy about it. All right, so verse 1, Isaiah 14. For Adonai, that's a name of God, for Adonai will have J uh, compassion on Jacob, which is Jacob, and Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Uh, for Adonai will have compassion on Jacob. He will once again choose Israel and resettle them in their own land, where foreigners will join them, attaching themselves to the house of Jacob. Jacob. Peoples will take and escort them to their homeland, and the house of Israel will possess them in the land of Adonai, as male and female slaves. Huh? People will take and escort them to their homeland, and the house of Israel will possess them. Who? Them is the people. And the house of Israel will possess them in the land of Adonai as male and female slaves. So what does that mean? The Jews are going to have people come, and they're going to... Possess them as slaves? Huh. They will take their captors captive and rule over their oppressors. Then when Adonai gives you rest from your suffering and trouble and from the hard service imposed on you, you will take up this taunt song against the king of Babel. I guess that's Babel. At last the oppressor is stilled. His arrogance is ended. Adonai has has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers, which furiously, furiously struck down the people with unceasing blows, angrily beating down nations with relentless persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break into song. The cypresses rejoice over you with the cedars of the Lebanon. I guess that's Lebanon. Now that you are laid low, no one comes to cut us down. Uh, that's the Cedars of Lebanon talking, right? Sheol, Sheol is a Hebrew name for hell. Sheol below is stirred up to meet you when you come. It awakens for you the ghosts of the dead who were leaders on earth. It makes all the kings of the nations arise from their thrones. They all greet you with these words. Now you are as weak as we are. You have become like us. Verse 11. Your pride has been brought down to Sheol, which is hell. Your pride has been brought down to Sheol with the music of your lyres. That's a musical instrument, L-Y-R-E-S. Under you a mattress of maggots. Under you a mattress of maggots. If you don't know what a maggot is, it's a worm. It's the worm uh, life cycle of a fly. They eat rotting dead flesh. Under you a mattress of maggots. Over you a blanket of worms. How did you come to fall from the heavens? Morning star. How did you come to fall from the heavens, 
Morning Star, Son of the Dawn. Now, does that sound? Somebody's your somebody's has their pride. They're being brought down the hell, hell shield. Under them's a mattress of maggots, and over them's a blanket of worms. And then, how did you come to fall from the heavens? Who fell from the heavens? Wasn't uh, Satan cast out of the heavens? Uh, Michael and his angels fought against the devil and his angels, and they were cast out in the book of Revelation? Well, never mind. How did you come to fall from the heavens, morning star, son of the dawn? How did you come to be cut to the ground, conquerors, conqueror of nations? Does this morning star sound like somebody good or somebody bad? Verse 13, you thought to yourself, I will scale the heavens. I will raise my throne above God's stars. I will sit on the mount of, of assembly far away in the north. I will rise past the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. Instead, instead you are brought down to Sheol, to the utmost depths of the pit so, let's see. This morning star fell from heaven. He's going to be under, he's going to be on top of a bed of maggots, and he's going to be covered with a blanket of worms. And by his pride, he was cast out of heaven. Does this morning star sound like a good person? Doesn't sound like a good person to me. So, Let's find out who this evil morning star is. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 16, complete Jewish Bible. Messianic Jew, David Stern. I, Yeshua, and, and, and the Jews hate the name of Jesus, so they call him Yeshua. I, Yeshua, have sent mine angel to give this testimony for the messianic communities. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright morning star. What? Jesus is the morning star who fell from heaven in Isaiah 14? What? What? Come on now. These Messianic Jews, you just read with me, the morning star of Isaiah 14 fell from heaven, was filled with pride, is, is going to be on top of a bed of maggots and covered with worms and going down to Sheol, which is another it's a Hebrew word for hell. But here, I, Yeshua, Revelation 22, 16, I, Yeshua have sent mine angel to give you this testimony to the for the messianic communities. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright morning star. Yes, people, to a messianic Jew like David Stern, guess what? Yeshua is the morning star and the most the morning star fell from heaven and is going to Sheol, which is hell. Oh, yeah. Uh, and you wonder why I don't trust Messianic Jews and their little Yeshua. Oh, we don't like the name of Jesus because, you know, well, you know, Jesus was in a Jewish family and, and they wouldn't call him a Greek name, Jesus. So they would have called him Yeshua. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, my New Testament was written in Greek. And my English Bible, the King James, says, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright morning star. Do you know what my King James English Bible says in Isaiah 14? Who fell from heaven? Lucifer. And Heretics like James White will tell you, well, Lucifer is a Latin word and it doesn't belong in the English language. 
Well, guess what? I had a college professor tell me that 20% of the English language is directly derived from Latin. And besides that, ask any Satanist or Luciferian who Lucifer is, and guess what? They'll tell you. They know who Lucifer is. It's only idiots like James White and Messianic Jews that don't know who Lucifer is. How dare them take, delete the name of Lucifer and insert Morningstar, which is an, another name for Jesus, which they call Yeshua. How dare them? You want to know what you want to know what these heretics really believe? Uh, they believe the 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 Kabbalah. Read this stuff. The ten Sephiroth are the ten channels of divine energy or life force from the first God. Do you see the uh, that yellow star on the right hand side with the six points? Oh yeah. The most and then on the left we're reading the most fundamental concept of messianic Kabbalah. Kabbalah is witchcraft masquerading as Judaism is based on these ten divine emanations. The Zohar called this ten Zephiroth as the tree of life. See that six-pointed star in the middle of the thing on the right-hand side? Oh, yeah. Well, where else do you see the six-pointed star? Uh, let's see. You see the six-pointed star on the Israeli flag. Oh, yeah. And guess what? Tel Aviv, the capital of the Israeli state, it is the gay capital of the Middle East. All right, well, I hope you learned something. Um, throw away Yeshua and keep Jesus, people. That's what I suggest. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world, and that's Jesus, who is the Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.